Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a collective haul. Um, I did get in a few things this week, so I figured I'd come on and share. Um, I'm gonna start with these Peachy Keen stamps, uh, totally enabled by Jill Norwood. She does the most adorable Christmas crafts, and she shared these stamps that were retired and for, um, in some type of way, she was able to get them to make some more for everyone that wanted them. And she left a link in her video uh, for those who wanted to purchase these stamps. They brought them out of retirement and I thought they were so, so cute and I loved what she made. So I went ahead and ordered them. And as you can see, they have these adorable faces. So this is the Spa Girls face and you get six different faces. And then this one right here is the fun shine faces. And you get, it looks like seven faces on this one right here. Super, super cute. So I can't wait to play with these. And they are the clear, um, clear stamps, the clean stamps in case you're wondering. So I did grab those. And then I was watching Marissa, who is Creative Young Mama. She is like totally an enabler. Um, she shared these cat scrappiness dies that she picked up and I thought they were adorable. So I had to get them. So this one is, reads, I think this one reads sending, what do we see? I, I, I cut them out. I can't read backwards. One reads, hello, my crafty friend. And I did die cut it out of that Sizzix holographic paper. This is like, you guys know, I've been saying it's like my favorite paper right now. Um, and it's so pretty. Um, and then I die cut out the word, hello, my crafty friend in the foil gold. And this is gonna be so perfect for mini slimline cards. And I just love the little saying. So I went ahead and grabbed this one right here. And then I also grabbed the one that reads sending paper hugs. I couldn't remember what it said. <laughs> um, and then this one, I just used some pink cardstock, heavyweight cardstock, and um, it's so, so pretty. And um, I did use my double-sided um, scrapbook.com adhesive. If you don't have this, I totally recommend it. It makes your life so much easier when you're wanting to create a sticker. Um, and they sell it in different widths, and I have a couple of the different widths, but totally recommend it, because when you die cut it with the adhesive, all you have to do is peel it off and it's ready to go. It's a sticker, you don't have to worry about adding glue to it. So just a little tip there. So I'm loving this die set right here. And then I also got in the uh, mini cinch, and I did share this on my community tab. I did see that it was, um, on sale at Joann's, I think it was last week, and they were running a really good sale, and they had like a free shipping coupon, so I went ahead and got it because um, I wanted to try it out. I do actually have the original cinch, um, but I did want to try the mini cinch, so I went ahead and got it, and um, it's very um, lightweight in size. This is what it looks like, and um, I just wanted to try it out, and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I did play with it. It's actually really easy to use. You have a little um, a little piece right here. It's the guide that you use um, to um, figure out where you punch your holes. And then they have um, several different sizes. So basically you just um, decide what uh, your paper size is gonna be. So if it was this and say this is five inches, you would punch, um, it in the A because five inches is a whole number. Um, so it's, it's actually really easy to use and I'm not gonna do a tutorial or anything, but um, I did cut some out just to try it. I actually had some of the wire because I have a lot of this wire in my stash for the original size and um, I just wanted to try it. And then I realized I didn't have the right size. I think this was like 0.75. And I believe you need point, what does it say, 0.625 wire. So I've got to get the smaller wire. So, so only the smaller wire will work with this cinch. Um, but I did want to show you, like I cut it out of some acetate and then just this Halloween paper. I just wanted to test it out. But as you can see, you can make a fun little booklet. And obviously you can see, I actually did this backwards. It should have been the other way. The ring should have been on this side. I wasn't paying attention to the pattern paper but you guys get the idea. Um, so super, super fun. I hadn't pulled out my cinch in a really long time and I've been seeing a lot of projects with the cinch. So that's why I went ahead and got it. 
And I think that is it. That is my collective haul for today. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Uh, check the description box below for product information. Of course, if you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.